Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So, I haven't really uploaded in a while, and I just wanted to give an update on the next major project, which is my vehicle armor build, and kind of just what's been going on in my life for the last year. Because last year I only uploaded like two or three videos. So, first off, I started a new job. I am now a technician that works with mobility equipment. And that's been quite challenging and has uh, taken up a lot of my what would used to be free time as I went from being a factory worker that got home around you know 1 2 o'clock got up early to a, essentially a nine to five or an eight to five job and you know want to spend time with the kids in the afternoon so a lot of my kind of what I would do going out into the garage and working on stuff just wasn't available plus you know being a technician I'm sometimes on call uh, but it's been really great. I mean, it's been a blessing technically for my family because I make more money now than I did as a factory worker. And I'm also learning a trade that I'm fairly competent in as uh, I learned a lot about electrical that I didn't know. But uh, from a mechanical aspect, you know, I've, I've always kind of had a fondness for figuring out and creating solutions for problems. So it has definitely been a challenging yet rewarding experience changing the job. That was first up. Second up, this last year, uh, I started raising chickens. So I got 10 silver lace wine dots. They all survived through the winter and I built them a coop. What's nice is, you know, now I have farm fresh eggs and I'm allowed, you know, allow them to free roam in a fence because I fenced off my yard for the kids to play and for the chickens to roam. And I have been growing my own food or tr attempting to. I'm not an amazing gardener. <laughs> uh, so that was a fun uh, spring and summer activity that took up a lot of my time. Building a coop, raising chickens, growing, you know, a garden. Also in the fall, I really s spent a lot of time hunting uh, because my wife and I have just kind of decided to, in general, kind of go into our, you know, take our food into our own hands essentially you know with growing our own food and raising our own livestock with that's kind of the goal of our lives in the future and of course processing our own meat I've hunted plenty of times with my father but I decided to really kind of spend a lot of time out this year and I got a seven point buck out of on public land early season that was really nice and at the very end of a reduction zone I was able to get another doe so I filled two and now my uh, two tags and now my uh, now my freezer is full of venison you know heart healthy meat and that's been just what a blessing <laughs> you know I, I, I love venison so that and eggs I can wake up and have steak and eggs and that's a you know knowing where the egg came from and the steak came from and it was all you know from my own work is a, an exceptionally rewarding experience um, although challenging to get to this point I also want to mention that uh, in a couple months, I'll be welcoming my third child into this world. That's amazing. My second little girl. <laughs> third child. It's a... Uh, I dropped that on me in, in about two or three months from recording right now. Two months. Uh, I'll be welcoming, you know, my next child into the world. And uh, very excited. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. But as such, uh, you know, coming up in my free time is going to be, well, dealing with an infant. Um, so I really wanted to get this project, this next project done before my child gets here. And uh, that's what I'm, you know, going into. Which is my vehicle armor build. I have been tossing around how I was going to approach it and, you know, why... Uh, why I haven't made a lot of ground on the vehicle is after gutting it and weighing it, I saw how incredibly heavy and the armor that I was going to use and, you know, if I missed anything. And so I just kind of got really frustrated with the project because my gross vehicle weight allowance was just terrible versus, you know, curb weight even after gutting it. And I just needed to make, you know, approach it differently. And that's what I'm finally at and finally unveiling here, which is my uh, uh, new system for vehicle armor, which is, I'm calling it MAVS currently, uh, Modular Armored Vehicle System, because it utilizes just like per square foot, mod, you know, modes that will be inserted into 
packets, or I should say pockets that are stitched on a liner. Very reminiscent of some early, uh, you know, Russian armor like the 6B2, I think. I'm, I'm terrible with remembering exactly what number it is. Devin, Devin's screaming at the screen because he's the one that owns it and he was sending me photos of, of a few different designs. But essentially the idea is to use small uh, pouches that will house the full armor that will be stitched together on a backer. The anchor system will be using common vehicle uh, anchor points like your seat belt, you know, lap belt points um, and where the pillars connect to the ceiling and whatnot. The reason why I'm going this route is I think it's going to be easier for others to take it and apply it to their vehicle. So it doesn't matter if you have a Toyota Camry or a Jeep, you know, Grand Cherokee or whatever, you'll be able to see the curb weight of your vehicle, your you know gross weight vehicle allowance of it, how much weight you have to play with and kind of gauge what kind of armor you could actually use into it. And even if you didn't want to build all your own plates, you could still just order from other companies these types of tiles and insert it into my system, right? So whether you build all the panels yourself or order them from other companies, you can factor, okay, I want pistol rating, you know, of at least this caliber, this many shots per square foot, and calculate that stuff. So I'm going to give you guys a full write-up of the two different uh, anchoring systems and the common placement of it, how to remove airbags and install shunts so that way you don't have, you know, airbag system going haywire and it's throwing a bunch of codes, kind of where how you can shut those things off and remove them without, you know, like I said, vehicle codes and saving them back in case you ever want to unmodify your vehicle. And how to do it without m doing major modifications to the vehicle itself. Because we're using the anchor points to build off these brackets and then these ballistic aprons that are either going to be housed with these pouches or with Velcro. Because I have, yeah, like I said, two different anchor systems that I'm testing out and I have all the material for it. I have like over 60 square meters of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, 160 grain unidirectional fabric. I also have fiberglass um, woven roven 18 ounce and 24 ounce over uh, 10 square meters of each of those. I have a few different resins, plenty of porcelain ceramic because that's gonna, it's gonna be porcelain heavy. But I also have a few different grades of steel that I'm really excited of debuting and aluminum. So. Regardless of your budget, your planning, and where you're located in the world, you should be able to find kind of these things and factor the square foot or square meter if you live elsewhere in the world and insert it into this design because essentially each of these uh, pouches or either system you use, pouch or Velcro system, you'll be able to just calculate the square foot you need and insert it. I think I already covered that and I'm just circling right now. I apologize. Um, <laughs> also, a friend of the channel, a guy that we've had some nice long conversations over the last year. Uh, I really enjoy talking to this guy. He does some amazing work. 3R Ballistics. We are both collaborating. He's helping, so he's going to build a few other test samples. Debut them on his channel. I might get some footage to put on mine. We'll see, we haven't factored exactly how we're going to kind of split up the work as far, but we're both going to be working on bulletproof glass for it. So not only will you get armored panels that will fit into different parts of your vehicle, whether it's the pillars or the ballistic aprons I'm talking about, will have different ways of forming them. He's helping out with that, but he's also helping out with bulletproof glass because he's done some exceptional work with glass. And if you remember, you know, years ago, I've done two different videos on Bulletproof Glass. So our collaboration is going to be, you know, trying to break up and like, okay, well, you take that and I take this. And that's really exciting because this will be the first time someone's really uh, stepped up and made their own ballistic plates and tested it on their channel. So make sure to check out 3R Ballistics. I'll put a link in the description where you can see his channel in action. Fantastic guy. I love him. Um, yeah. And... Because you guys have requested it, the windows will 
the driver door window will be able to be opened in the anchor system that I've made. So it'll fold up rather than slide up and down. It'll actually have hinges with uh, gas springs that will cause it to go up. So you'll lose some cab room when you have to move out of the way because the window goes up to the ceiling, but now you don't have to worry about the window just being a fixed position that doesn't, you know, can't be removed for emergencies or, you know, if you wanted to, you know, drive your vehicle and get food, you know, and your window doesn't open up. So in a drive through that kind of sucks. And I get that and I get why people wanted it. I was just kind of figuring out how the hell I was going to do that. And I think I have a pretty good grasp now of the uh, anchor system that I'll be able to exploit um, and build a good metal framework that'll allow this swinging function. So I'm really excited to get going on it. That's what all these sheets of polycarbonate here are, and I have numerous sheets of glass that are about to get laminated. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit warmer, but uh, I'm already starting work in my basement. So a lot of new exciting things. This is going to be the most exhaustive project I've ever done for this channel. What's exciting is that I, I would have never been able to get this done had it not been for you guys and you guys over on my Patreon who support me there because literally from YouTube ad revenue and Patreon, you guys are paying for, I would say, at least half of all these panels because there's a lot that's going to be done. I mean, when it's done, essentially the whole cab's going to be armored and we're going to shoot it so you can see how well it actually functions with the different variables. That's awesome. And... I'm going to document it as best I can and give you guys another guide like uh, the hybrid ceramic armor video. If you haven't seen that, you can go check that out and of course grab the guide for these uh, where I use ceramic balls rather than monolithic tiles to break up a ballistic. We'll return this after the vehicle. Like I said, with my kid coming uh, in this world in the next few months, my only focus, like hyper focus now is getting this vehicle finished. Now that I have all the material, I have all the money, I'm just going to, you know, take all my extra time and focus on it until my kid gets here. And hopefully, we'll have it for you guys sometime in February or beginning of March, right? That's kind of the goal. So, I'll also do shorts so you can see the video, uh, you know, progression in short form. Might do one other update that I'll tag into it, which fully outlines it. Let me know if you guys want me to break it up or if you guys like that like hour long video because it would be at least an hour long to go over everything. So if you want a much longer video for it, let me know down in the comments. If you would prefer to see it as like, you know, split up and just the guide tagged to all of them, let me know that, okay? And uh, also if you guys haven't already, you know, make sure to subscribe. We're, we're past 20,000. Thank you all for getting me to that point. You can also check out my Instagram. I've been kind of uploading there more regularly. So uh, you can check that out. I'll try to make sure to drop it on the community tab. And as far as the project I'm doing for my Patreon supporters, my, uh, the Sapa Panzer, as soon as this vehicle's done, we're going to go back to the Sap and Panzer, the mask and the shield, and I'm going to produce all those for this channel. So huge thank you to everybody. I appreciate you you all so very much check out my boy 3r ballistics he just did some flexible armor testing for a young man uh, whose channel is named armor innovations I've had a bit of chatting with him another up-and-comer that I really enjoy watching he's tested stuff similar to me maybe check him out too I'll put a link in the description to see armor innovations and I'll literally tag that video where they where he built the flexible armor and uh, 3R tested it because, wow, what great work. What great work. I love seeing that sort of stuff, you know. And uh, Armor Innovations, if you ever want to do something together, hit me up, man. I got a lot going on right now, but, you know, feel free to tag me in something and we can maybe build something together in the future. All right, gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. It's always fun to be out at the range. A lot of my suggestions come from you guys, so uh, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care. Man.
<laughs> this is a 300 win bag or something. Woo! Man, I, 